Hello, my name is Scott Fisk, and welcome to this tutorial on Adobe Dreamweaver Creative Cloud Responsive Two Column Responsive Web Design. We're also going to uh, just insert an image and make it responsive too. Notice that this is uh, build 6982. Uh, this is the 2014.1.1 release, which is newer than just the 2014 release. Let's get started. I'm going to go file. Actually, I'm going to just exit out of that, that screen, about screen. I'm going to File New, <clears throat> and right, ha right here we have some different options. We have Mobile, Tablet, Desktop, and this is under Fluid Grid Layout. We have the capability to uh, control the width of our main container area, our working area. Uh, it's 91%, 93%, 90% 90, 90 for the desktop. <clears throat> the number in the middle or simply the different uh, columns. This is HTML5, which is a good thing. That's the most recent version of HTML. I'm going to hit Create. It's asking me what to name the style sheet. And I'm hitting Save. And at this point, <clears throat> at this point, uh, just realize that it's dropped in some stuff for me to make this process a little bit easier. So it's put in a couple handy little things. We've got a main grid or a main uh, div container box which is called grid container. It opens there and it closes here so that's the whole tag. Notice I can highlight that and it highlights it up here. And this is the box that's on the inside of that box. So there's a box and a box. And I'm going to remove the internal, uh, the, the, the most innermost box and the easiest way to remove that inside box is really just to click in the middle area and it highlights it. As you see here, we get these little buttons. That doesn't happen when we're on the outside, outside div. So if, if I select on the outside div, it looks like this. If I select on the inside div, in essence, it changes out. Here we go, right there, inside div. We get this little delete thing. You can also just click inside the box and I'm hitting delete and it's gone. But but it looks like both boxes are gone. In essence, that is not the case. If we look here, that big main grid container is still there. I can click uh, in between here and just add some text and it comes back where you can see it visually. So this is, this is why I usually keep Dreamweaver on split view. You have to sort of pay attention to what's happening in the code and in the visual mode. Uh, <clears throat> so split, split mode is a great thing. Knowing HTML is, is, a, is a great thing. It just helps to know a little bit of HTML to troubleshoot and fix things along the way. So next thing I'm going to do is insert a uh, two column grid and work with images. So I'm going to window insert. We have all these different uh, options for inserting things. We're going to go with the, the most basic, which is just div. I'm going to call it call one. Notice I did click on nest, which means it's putting it within the, the main box. I have the main box selected right now. And I'm hitting OK. That box, that smaller column box, is now inside the main box, as you see. Uh, the next thing we need to do is, is just notice that my screen is, is formatted sort of like an iPhone. And that's because we have three different options down here at the bottom. We have a, a mobile view, and I shouldn't say iPhone. Really, I just mean mobile device. So we have a mobile view, we have a tablet view, and then we have a desktop view. I'm going to click on desktop <clears throat> and work primarily with this one first. And I'm just going to take this box size down, or this column down, and I'm going to be real careful and try to click right behind that box. I need to click right behind this, this box, and really the easiest way to do that is in the code. So here's the box we just added. I can click right behind it and I'm just going to insert another div and call this one call2 <clears throat> and I'm going to hit OK and notice it's it's still large you know it went all the way across I'm going to shrink it down and at this point we have two columns they're just on top of each other and of course column means they're side by side so I'm going to click this this up move up a row button and there we go. Now we have a two column grid. Note that we're still in the <clears throat> uh, 
desktop view, and if I go down to mobile, it's stacked. And that's, that's great because the buttons are bigger, they're larger, the easier to click on for a mobile device, where if you have the desktop view, you can have multiple columns across the screen. The next thing we're going to do is work on an image. So this, uh, this is how to just simply insert an image and have it automatically scale uh, larger or smaller for a mobile, like a mobile device, for example. So what I'm going to do is insert a third div and have it go all the way across the page. So here's my first div. Here's my second div, my second column. And then I'm clicking right behind that. And I'm going to go and insert a, a third div. And this one I'm just going to call uh, something like main image. It doesn't really matter what you name it as long as you can. It helps you remember what it is. And I'm going to hit OK. And it pushed it down below. It always does that. And at this point, I want to get rid of this text. So I'm just going to highlight it, get rid of it. I, I do have to click, click, and then get rid of it. And I'm going to insert image. Before I do this, I have to back out. And at this point, I'm going to insert image. <clears throat> I'm going to say nested. That means it's going in the box. And we'll, we need to find a large image here to insert. I should have one ready to go right there. And nice large image. So check this out. Now we're going to preview and test this page. Preview in Firefox. Yes, save it. And that image is large, but as I shrink the page, it gets smaller. And notice that my, uh, my columns, my call one, my call two, they're stacked on top of each other right now. And the reason for that is I left that that text in there, which helped me open the box, I can fix that very easily just by removing some of this text here. And this box has to be small enough that they can fit side by side, of course. So I just tweak that. <clears throat> Let's test it again. And here we go. I have call one, call two, and I have a big image that automatically scales down. And watch my columns. As soon as it hits that mobile device size, it automatically goes uh, goes into rows versus columns, which is great. That's exactly what we wanted. So thank you for joining me. I hope this helped. Bye-bye.